think it was against this arcade machine. Started to make out and it went really quick into like fucking eating. And I will tell a bit more, not too much, because otherwise my YouTube video will never get thing. but... Impressive work, we need to pack those things to get them back to the lab, to ensure their safety. Not to mention this area is very dangerous for us as well. Although, you, you, do you not wonder where our objects are coming from? The entire road is closed, we barely got in with the van, so you saw that too, right? <laughs> the last fucking house that you check has the last step. Uh. At least you can run in this game and buddy up. And you jump off. Oh. Uh, but yeah, like... Tuesday, like this Tuesday, I have my internship. Or my graduation, like... Graduation presentation. Oh wait, is it... Oh, it's coming for me, it's coming for me! Oh, oh, no, 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 uh, to scare you, I jump scare you. No, they're even looking at you to make you feel uncomfy in liminal spaces and that sort of stuff. Uh, and what do I mean by that? Well, let me talk you through the games that we have today for you in petto. Because I'm 39 weeks and I don't have a lot of time anymore. So, <laughs> uh, But our first game of today's series is Lampos. Lampos is a game based around SCP, oh, SCP Lampos. I don't know if it has a number, you have to look it up, I'm not that familiar with SCPs and all of the SCPs. So I think there will be quite homework to do. But SCP Lamppost, yeah, has some weird properties and yeah, I think you'll see in the game what does mean. Uh, because I don't want to give away too much. Because you have to watch. And as I said, if you want to play any of the games that I played today in this video, make sure uh, that to check them out at the top corner of the video description and that sort of stuff. Game number two is City of Muse. City of Muse is an empty city who has a master and why does it have a master? Why does it have plant people? Well, I don't know. We have to figure out. And I think Muse, City of Muse, can have a great potential, to be honest, I think. If you build more on the story-wise of the game and that sort of stuff. But that's me. And game number three will be Liminal Dreams and that together with uh, City of Muse will give you a good Liminal experience. And if you're interested in more horror content, make sure you take the icon on the top right or my, uh, my horror game that I played on uh, earlier on the day and uploaded it. But Liminal Dreams is basically uh, four separate dream worlds that we can explore. I only did one and if you want to see any of the others, make sure to leave a comment down below saying dream uh, worlds. But basically four separate dream worlds, each with its own team, with each with its own personal in a liminal space. Which would mean people have been coming around and people would have visited this place, would have been lively. How? Find out in Liminal Dreams. And I think it's a great game. I think it's a great community. And I like it at least, so I recommend playing it. And that's what I think. And with that, I hope you have enjoyed an amazing time. Don't forget to check out my Patreon link in the description down below or my Discord. Uh, in case you wondered, uh, for you want to support me more, besides to subscribe to Spreco Girl. Uh, if you like what you saw, make sure to comment, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. And with that, I'm going to say, have a wonderful game, and I see you all in game number one. Welcome to the three new scary games. And uh, maybe I'm sitting rough, but I don't know. Maybe I should go relax a bit. Because, uh, yeah, I don't, know, I don't sit well. But I'm 39 weeks pregnant, so that may be... Uh, the thing why, as you can see, I got quite big, eh? What do you think? You can see? Uh, but I wanted to jump into the first straight game. Lamppost. Look, 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 I'm gonna tell you, I'm not that well familiar with, like, SCP. Uh, you probably know why, because I don't have that much time anyway to, like, dive into SCP. But this game is apparently about an 
SCP. That's a lamppost, and that was SCP. I have to say it cor correctly. This is about SCP. Or does it say which SCP it is? Uh, it's about SCP at least, and it's about the lamppost, which is apparently an SCP, so, uh, yeah, let's start. What does its own casino? Nice. Recent SCP activity was discovered by locals in the middle of the Thornwood Forest. Authorities contracted the SCP Foundation to deal with the aftermath. A random lamppost SCP XXXX is currently under su uh, supervision of the team Alpha. They are heading towards the location in order to conduct the research and give further answers to this unknown anomaly. Based on the rumors, the lamppost uh, uses energy around itself, consuming anything that comes in contact with it. Yeah. This is my new... I want to talk, not read. Our intel suggests that this is key to a class SCP, which means that it's difficult to contain. We should be very careful with, while observing this object. SCP XXXX doesn't seem to show any signs of mobility, but it's somehow capable of disappearing from one location to the other in a matter of seconds. That's what we call teleportation. You know, I'm not a smartass, and maybe I still have a cold, I sound like terrible, uh, but then we call that teleportation. You can clearly see that we are surrounded by forests, yet the objects in this area are appeared from unknown uh, locations. We must contain those objects. Here, this is the analog multimeter, or an EMF. I am in front of the EMF. Here, this is the EMF, as you can see. Uh, use to measure electrical quantities like frequency signals, uh, etc. Use it to find those objects affected by the lamppost and collect them. I will be checking for uh, other anomalies as well. Dr. Cooper will observe us just in case if anything happens. And Dr. Thorne will provide us with medical help if we need any. Collect at least five samples, report to Dr. Cooper, and afterwards we can discuss the discoveries together. Stay vigilant, avoid interactions with the lamppost, and good luck. But this is my new main look, and I got that in my arcade Sakai, and... Oh, I have to say Miku, my arcade Miku, she can kiss, and fuck. Oh. <laughs> Uh, we, she like, uh, when I got there, because I was talking with him between Miku. I was like talking with, the in, uh, with Miku in the in-between Sakai. And she told me my, uh, Sakai was giving a powerful feeling. How does this work again? And uh, so I went there, nothing was wrong, instantly. and I found Miku standing, in, like my arcade Miku standing in front of my uh, mural, my info sheet mural. And basically, uh, she, um, like, she, she threw an arm around my shoulder, and she was about to lean in for, to make out, and... You know, you go in with the moment because you're pregnant and in a poly relationship. So I have my hormones. So, and um, when when she when she learned when she learned in to make out, you know, and started kissing, uh, a Sakai fragment fell out of my mural onto the ground, and I was like, Miku was like, or Miku, that Miku was like, ah, oh, at least I was about to make out with you. I was like, I know, my tits and. Uh, Like, I told her my tits and I can wait. So, uh, I kept, like, she helped me tuck. She helped me tuck so that I can, like, tuck down and get the Sakai fragment because me fragment and, the, like, tucking. Uh, that's not, no, 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 don't do that. Don't try that. And, uh, so I ducked down and I transformed into this look, which is apparently a visual upgrade to my main look. It's not gonna replace my main, and uh, Mika warned me that there might be more variants, since I have more variants of my main look coming still. So I might have a more an, another upgrade look. So I might have one more, one less. But uh, I was like, 
because I was like, wait, this is an upgrade to my tank. I was like, Miko, you have to wait. I'll be back. Hmm. I'll be back. Uh, I'll be back, but I need to ask something in the real Miku in the in between Sekai. And she said it was a main visual upgrade. So, and when when I talked, I hugged her. I was like, "Thank you for telling me, you know. Thank you for telling me." And I was like, "I'm glad to be a fan, Lloyd." And she was like, whispered to me like while well, I was hugging her. Like, Elise, don't you have someone to fuck with? Or like, have the case? I was like, oh yeah, fuck. So I went back to my gates, okay, and oh, that'd be cool. We started kissing near the mural, and eventually we, I think it was against this arcade machine, started to make out, and it went really quick into like, fucking eating. And I would tell a bit more, not too much, because otherwise my YouTube video will never get thing, but... Impressive work, we need to pack those things to get them back to the lab to ensure their safety. Not to mention this area is very dangerous for us as well. Although, you, do you not wonder where our objects are coming from? The entire road is closed, we barely got in with the van, so you saw that too, right? Cooper, uh, look, I'm no scientist, or, but... Uh, You might want to look back. <laughs> no one is allowed in the area, yet there are many objects in here called to be that SCP moves those objects from somewhere, maybe even from another dimension. Uh, your analog motivator is picking up high frequency. Damn! Oh no, the lamppost! Uh, but yeah, me and Miku started the fuck, we started to make out against the, my mural. And after that, uh, uh fucking reading. He discovered something out of the world. It's a regular lamppost, emitted a dim light. Anyone who tried to get too close to vanish it in front of our eyes. My theory is that the vortex of photons created a dimensional bridge between our reality and something else, a dark place, where there is non existent, or time is non existent. The lamppost becomes active and there is a surge of electricity around. After that, the search emitting strong light and if anyone touches it, it lampposts and the object or the person disappear. Ooh, but we started making out. Hello. Hello. Goodbye. We started making out and we started kissing and then she started kissing my neck and... Like... And she went down and was like, oh, I never felt so good. I was like, when she like started eating, I was like, Miku, you know how to eat a woman, huh? And she was like, uh-huh. And, oh my god. Like, I do have... Like the lamp. Like, I do have uh, two, two girlfriends and a boyfriend. But that woman? Like Miku? Well, she can eat. Like, I think I told her, like... Miku, I never felt like this in a in a while. It was like everything for this pregnant girl, eh? And in my turn, I ate her, but we don't talk about that. I ate her basically, and after that, when we were done, we were both like laying there. We were both laying there on the ground. It was like, let me do this more often. And she was like, if you want, Elise, I will be up for it. I was like, sure. So do I have a fuck buddy friends with benefits now? I think, but the funny thing is, yeah, you know, the funny thing is, you get a new look. You get a new look, and the first thing you do is, like, you have sex with someone. <laughs> oh, I got a new look! Yeah, time to celebrate! Oh, come here! Ah! We discovered something out of this world that is a regular... Oh, wait, I walked back? Oh. Yeah, imagine that, you get a new look, you'll be, like, happy, and you'll be, like, with your closest friend who's, like, taking care of that, it's like... Come here, Elise, let's fuck. Let's have sex. I assume I have to, like, emit a light or something. An intensive light. So, yeah, that's, like, the story how I basically fucked Miku. Or fucked my arcade Sakai Miku. 
some of the process of writing lore for Luca Music Story, and I wanted to make it do that. Like I did wrote that basically uh, Luca, Luca and Elise, uh, not Luca and Elise, uh, not Luca and Elise, that Luca and Miku got married, but that I was dressed up as Luca, that I got pregnant too there. So if that would be true, that Miku will be a, a wife of me, but I, I like. I made that in the Luca Missy story, but I still have to like figure that out how I want to write that. Uh, but hold on. Sometimes the lamp post can make a choice. It can trap the person forever in this time or return them back. No one knows what happens to those who return. But only one thing is clear, that those people are not the same anymore. Only the abandoned souls can hear the shadow of figure. If it whispers your, if it whispers your name, it suffocates, you flesh, it suffocates your flesh and feeds you with hope. When it's done, there is nothing left of you. Let me guess. Somebody's behind me. Can I pick this up? No. So, but yeah, like, the thing is, Luca Missy's story, I don't know if I want to write it yet. I do want to write, say, that I'm pregnant, I uh, got pregnant of people got married with her. What, what's up with you? You know? You can also say hi. So, I basically, I think I want to take the story to my arcade Sakai, that my arcade Miku became the Miku from the Luca Missy story. But if I make that true, then that would make that I have a husband, a wife, and that my wife is Miku, basically. Which a lot of people think. So, any observing, uh, this would look like a person, a dark figure. And in the blink of an eye, it will vanish. But that pairs once more, we call it the Photon Shadow. Which was created by this lamppost. It's always around the corner. It makes you think of a place. A place where you feel safe. And it will trap you there forever. Without realizing that your flesh does no longer belong to you. Hi. Are you gonna do flying to me again? Yeah. Go to the lamppost. So, uh, yeah. That makes me Miku my wife. Ali of my husband. Uh... Dr. Hayden, are you okay? Think he's okay? And that makes Anna and Lilia my girlfriends. I have a lot of relationships now that I think about it. Like, I never really looked into Luca Missy's story as real lore until now. So, let me guess, around the corner is you. Or was that Cotton Lump post again? Cool. Nick. Ah. Uh. So yeah. I had sex with my arcade Sakai Miku. So. And everything disappeared. Oh, hi. Look, look, look. We can talk about this. You know? So I had sex with my arcade Miku, and she wanted to be friends for benefits, so I said sure, because pack of hormones. And I'm still writing Luca Mystic Story, so that's basically the shit of it. But uh, I do like this game, and I think if you give it a proper story that you can make it a full game, but I know SCP is supposed to be free, so I don't know if you can get paid for it. I think you can, but if it gets a full and more expensive game, I think you can, like... I don't know if there's real lore for this lamppost, but I think you can make up something. Seeing how this goes and that sort of stuff. So if, if I said, if you give it a full story, I think you get something. But uh, that's not for me to decide, that's for the game developer to decide. I'll see you all in game number two. Let's run. Welcome to the city of Muse. This is supposed to be more a walking horror simulator. So... I don't know if this will run, this is built in Unreal Engine 5. And, and you're supposed to be exploring an empty city and see why uh, the muse came. But I want to take this time to talk, like, yeah, I know that I talked the story about having sex with me. She awaits you, you're the last one to be judged. Who said that? Did I said that? Are you? Are you a plant human? 
I think it's a plant human. Uh, but it looks amazing, I have to say. But yeah, I wanna. I was thinking of making that lore that my arcade sit Miku got pregnant on me. But I see myself as a girl, so it can I jump off? I can. Oh, I can't. God damn it. <laughs> no, I know I say that, but uh, yeah, I have like so many, uh, so much lore. That you, you can make a man manga of it, a manga, and I think you will have like two or three mangas still to make. No, like two or three, and I even any more. Like I'm now thinking of plots for my visual upgraded Sakai dresses. Oh, well, as you can see, my visual main, and I have visual Leonita already for a while because I Leonita is my favorite group, and I wanted to make one. And the other groups just look like, eh, way too much. But, uh, yeah, and part of that is like experiencing, like, I think if my Sekai had a true feeling, you know, if my Sekai was based on something, I think it was pregnancy. I think over the last few months I learned something and I really, really liked. And you, no matter what you do on the internet, people will always judge you and do, like, if you do something you really, really like, people will come from, uh, without any moment, like, people will come and just like you about your personality or the concept you do. I always had a bond with the city, but only now we are truly one. That's your plans. Uh, so, yeah, I was, like, making lore, but... I don't have time for that. Like, I do have now more some time, but I need to go job hunting. You know what's to be changed? We are merely tools of her will. I feel like I skipped a bunch. I feel like I skipped a bunch. But, like, I need job hunting. Like, I'm done with the internship as I record this, but Monday I have, like, a uh, job a meeting at a possible job location. We will paint city green. Will we? We gonna have a lot of green paint. If you don't paint it green, make it till green. Till green is a better color, I tell you. Uh, but I have one day I have like a job offer. Or a meeting at the location which for a possible job offer. And if that doesn't go through, then I need to go job hunting again. Because I've done a lot of... Uh, like... I, I sent out a lot of applications. I think I need to go down. <laughs> I sent it a lot, lot, lot of application, but I got like one offer to go, come to the location after a few calls. So, yeah, I like need to go job hunting. I need to move because next week I get like the keys to my new apartment. But are you a big or a builder? Jump and Muse will decide. Okay, don't tell me twice. Am I a brick? I think I'm a brick. Uh, but yeah, like Tuesday, like this Tuesday, I have my internship or my graduation, like graduation presentation. Oh wait, is it? Oh, it's coming for me! It's coming for me! Oh, oh no 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 no! No, Angel. What class is my game down? What? Was this it? I don't have 5 to 10. To 10 but Wait, this is, can be it, right? But yeah, like I have Tuesday, I have like my internship graduation. This is all in the past week, eh? Wednesday, I have free, so I could do some like lore keep, lore making and that sort of stuff. But. Uh. Now Thursday I get the keys to my new apartment, and Friday, which is when I record the next one and this one will release, I have free, but I have like open that I maybe can to get I can get to a job location or a job meeting. How do you call it in English again? Where you go to like an interview? Yeah, I have one day an interview at location. One day I have an interview at location. Tuesday I have my uh, final presentation on school or my graduation presentation. If I if I fucked that up. Uh, 
I can redo my internship again and I stay in school, but I I won't fuck that up. I won't. I have faith in it. So, if you have a first year deemed worthy to stay, will you be deemed worthy too? No. Oh, I won't be deemed worthy. Uh, that thir that Wednesday I'm free. Thursday I have like key offer. I get the keys in my new apartment if they send the quota because if I don't pay the quota, then uh. <laughs> Then if I don't pay the quota, they don't want to, they don't want to accept me. I have no right to the keys. Friday I have Friday I have free, so I want to plan like Wednesday as an off day, and Tuesday and Thursday are completely full booked, so I don't take any appointments. Monday I have like the interview, which is like at least an hour or two if you care take uh, travel times and such stuff. So. We have like multiple options here. So. So yeah, I have a busy week ahead. But like that's the thing, like if I graduate then I have to go job hunting. And it feels so weird because today was my last internship day. And I ordered a new keyboard. I ordered a new keyboard because I think this one is the fact. And I want to try out if, if it's like my keyboard or uh, the thing. But I'll get, get to that later. But like my internship was my last day. And I got a little gift which allows me to order a new keyboard. Why I will I will explain in a minute. But I worked there like when when it became like 3 p.m. 2 p.m. and I had like formal uh, the formal like like the formal end over of my internship exercise. I was like, yeah, it's over. I leave once I step out of this room. You know, once I leave today, I might never come back. And it, that, like that feeling, made it feel so weird because and then it feels my last day of internship. You know, it feels like on Monday I stand up and I go to internship again and I'll be like, oh yeah, wait, and I, I don't work here anymore. But it felt so weird, I don't know, it felt so sad that like I really had a good internship. And I really liked it, but it didn't feel like six months, you know. That's already been six months pa past. And such stuff. <laughs> Did it feel like that? Not so sad. And I was like, I'm getting an adult now. Eh? I'm gonna give birth soon. I'm gonna give get kids. I have like a relationship with. It. I'm gonna marry to like I am basically married by law, but we have to celebrate it yet. Like to Elif, which I'm pregnant of, and I have two girlfriends, and I and Lilia, which I'm happy with. Like, and I'm getting a new apartment, I'm, I'm becoming an adult, eh? I thought you had multiple options in this game. I'm like, I'm getting an adult, I'm becoming a real adult. Like, I was already an adult, and I was living on my own, you know, going to, high, to HBO, to like a bachelor degree and such stuff. But, now I'm getting my really own room, and it's like an apartment where I can live for like 30 to 40 years, and no, don't have to worry, you know? Yeah, I might get kids, I might get another partner that lives with me, you know, I might get more kids. But I don't have to worry that I have to like finish a graduation in four years and then get out. So it feels like I'm getting the real adult and it feels weird. I have to say that. I hope that once I get a job that I don't have to like real take that much in from like internship and such or from content creation. So But yeah, it's just so weird to like leave internship and then think like, to think like, uh, to think you never come back. It felt so weird. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. To think uh, that uh, this video is like, okay, at least you talk about sex with Miku, you talk about lore that you want to make, and now you're talking about your internship. And about this keyboard. Am I running away from this thing? I don't see it anymore. Oh, it's coming. I'm gonna run it out. I'm gonna run it away. Uh, but yeah, my keyboard. But like, I really only noticed it with Binding of Isaac, and I don't know why. But on Binding of Isaac, my keyboard is not as good. As... Let's get it quicker. Woo! You never get me alive, bitch! Oh, it's getting quicker, it's getting quicker, it's getting quicker. I'm getting... 
Oh no no you're not getting away you're, you're getting quicker, you're getting quicker, you're getting quicker. You're getting quicker. But the bandit of Isaac, basically my keyboard like is Am I quicker now? It's a stuck. I break the game. Fuck you! I think it's stuck. <laughs> I think it's stuck. It looks stuck. Is this like the sign that I want? Uh. But yeah, like my keyboard, I don't know why, because like not even now, I don't notice the fact that like if I keep walking and I suddenly walk like press slightly to the right that it keeps walking to the right for some reason and it like hangs, you know, that the key keeps being pressed or sort of stuff or I press it slowly. I don't notice that in other games and Biden of Isaac does that a lot. It's stuck. I, I, I think the map maker didn't expect me to go like this far. I think it's stuck. I think I broke it. <laughs> but yeah. And that's why I wanted to get a new keyboard. Because I do know that it, like the cable is not that good anymore with the keyboard. So. And I want to see if it's the keyboard or the USB connector. Because I do have a USB connector. Because I do have a laptop. And otherwise you can't have like. Uh, a gaming ca a capture card, a keyboard, a microphone, and a belly cam. <laughs> I'm gonna miss my pregnant belly. I wanna, like, you know what I wanna try out? I wanna get pregnant with Lilia. Like, my fraternity powers or the a head elf explained to me that I can get pregnant with girls. Uh, all I have to do is like, make my mark shine while I have intercourse with people, with like girls. And if, if I intercourse with a girl and she makes me come, then I should get pregnant if I if I understood the head elf of the village. So, but just imagine they go walk around and say like, "Oh, you're pregnant, Elise. Who's the who's the father, Lilia?" And you were like, "Lilia, Lilia, she's your girlfriend, right?" Yeah. Imagine the surprise face that they just say that you're pregnant with your girlfriend. <laughs> then you get like the question: Is she an intense? Is she an intense woman? It was like, no. Wait, this. Is at least you're telling us that you're pregnant of Lilia? Yeah. Imagine those faces. Uh, yeah. My life is gonna get a little weird the upcoming month. What if I, like... Oh! Oh, I am at the edge! Ha! Fucker! Who's the fucking now, eh? Uh, uh, but yeah. So, adding lore, having sex with your Kate Miku, Sakai Miku, uh, and that sort of stuff that I talk about. Uh, yeah, more lore, life, and that sort of stuff. And that sort of stuff, so. Yeah, it's been a fun game. I think, like, I do like the layout and the environment of this game, but I want to see more story. I think if you give this game more story, that it will really, really fit well. Like, I love abandoning places or, or abandoned places. So if you give this, like, the if you let the grassman tell, like, a story of what normally happens here, that people jump into the well and they get judged, and that only very few, few will like survive and get back. Yeah, you know, that's what they told. But like, make it more like a brighter story. Why do people jump in the well? You know, how was life before uh, everyone jumped in the well? Like, if you do that, I think this will be a great game. Uh, but link at the top of the video description. And with that, I'm going to say time to head out to the final game of this today's episode. It's working fine, I guess. Welcome, well, to, uh, as you can say it, 
als je kijkt, zie je lim liminal dreams. Do I have to play this game with like my PNG version? Uh, uh, let me explain what liminal dreams is. Explore dreams world and be coffee. A game about exploring strange and bizarre worlds. You appear in a room of an empty bunker with no memories at all. However, you find a diary with some strange notes. You explore and find a weird TV. You touch it and suddenly you can teleport to bizarre worlds where you meet strange characters. Will you help them? How are you going to escape this place? And what is such a place anyway? So many questions and so many ways to seek the truth. I just woke up in this place, it's familiar, but I've no I've never been here before. There's no one around on no way out. Just from this, I don't know what it means. Uh, I don't know much time has passed, but it feels like days. I don't feel uh hunger. Oh. I don't feel hunger, I don't feel sleepy, neither cold nor warm. This is surreal. The TV suddenly has turned on. There is an annoying static on the screen and I can't turn it off. I'm starting to go in insane. How of all can this be real? I tried to wake up but no matter how much I hurt myself, it doesn't work. The TV is calling my name. I can hear it from here. I'm going to touch it. Oh, I thought you touch TV. Why would you want to touch a TV? Oh. Yeah. Oh, you have a good bed. You know, I can sit here with my practical ass and just chillax so like all day. Like, oh. I have a video to record. Huh? Did that break? I was taking a bed. I'm gonna take a bed, guys. I will, I, will, I, will, I will be back in 10 minutes. I will take a bed. Don't worry. Don't worry, I will take a bed. So I can fall asleep in here. Oh, uh, what are you talking about? Oh, yeah, video. Sorry, guys. Uh, no. Not been a long day, not at all. What are you talking about? Not been a long day, not at all. This is a delayed dialogue test. Press the arrow to continue. Well done. You can also skip the messages. Try to press the arrow before the sentence finish. This is gonna be so long, so the sooner you press it, the quicker the dialogue went. <laughs> I am impatient, so. Okay, hold on. Wait, wait now that I see this. You're gonna have to like with float with floating Mega Belly Elise. Uh because I am not gonna move. Because why where do I have to move to? I can win. Why is my whole house on board? I, I, I get it, I need to touch TV. Which world should we go first? Let's go to the pink world, because I like pink. Well, I do like teal green more. I think like a favorite color. Like a favorite color, I think teal green has become my new favorite color. Because uh, it's been my brand color of a lot of years now. So, and it's grew on me. Hello stranger, I need to ask you a favor. I don't have much time, my memories are slowly fading, but before that I want to portray them in my last piece. I've been trying for hours, but all that's in my mind is the damn concrete. If you could help me get my inspiration back, I would be grateful. Please stranger, help me before I lose myself. And... How do I... How do you need to remember the past? Okay, I need to give you the past. But like, till green has like been my main looks color. I used it in a lot of like, ah, I used it in a lot of like, uh, things that I use around Twitch and such stuff, because till green, I don't know, I don't know why till green, but it just grew on me, and I was like, yeah, fuck it, till green is today. Embrace the concrete, and there will be stone, and we shall embrace it as our own kind, and there will be well race, and there will one, and we as one will race. 
Dat wordt een hukkip again. Oh dear one, I'm here, here to serve. Oh dear one, I'm here I am to become. A new era is approaching. We are not worthy, but we have been chosen. So we be grateful and will accept it. And we'll, we will get rid of the dirty, weak, immortal flesh. Unworthy flesh. To become stronger, to become such bindings. I completely butchered that, butchered that, but I'm not in that mood to fucking read all long as texts. I'm like tired and I get a hiccup. Uh, you know what I mean? It's like midnight. It's exactly midnight. Oh. What's the guy need? I, I recorded this way too late. I should do them earlier. Like, I was at home. And I still was like, yeah, you know, 11 p.m. That's like a good time to record the video, at least. That, like, takes usually up to an hour and then, like, an hour of editing. Are they all the same? I think they're all the same. Yeah, like, I don't know why I do this at night or around midnight because they usually take up at least an hour to record most of the times. And I like editing takes up to half an hour to an hour. So, being a content creator, like, if you're interested ever in being a content creator, know that, like, yeah, it's fun, but do know that there's a lot of things that come together. By checking, like branding, uh, making content, thinking of content ideas, you know, making time free to record your videos and editing. And such stuff. So. Yeah, I give you the things that I found. So yeah, like it's not that, and yeah, I usually record this around midnight because that has been my point of view. Because it's horror, and horror is better around midnight, so. But yeah, that takes me so usually the case that I record them between 10, uh, I start between 10 p.m. and 11 p.m. normally. Which in this case will be uh, end around 12 p.m. Like midnight usually, and then recording takes up to like 1 a.m. On Friday, I normally at bed at 1 a.m., which is not a smart move, but hey, Elise does it, so Elise doesn't care. I found this thing, but what do I think we do with thing? Sorry for the keyboard that is like all of out of screen at this moment, but what do I do with keyboard? What do I think we do with thing? Yesterday I saw the father touching one of the uh, chandeliers. He was so disturbed I think he's hiding something. I may be the only one who realized that something is ro uh, wrong with him. I'm gonna find it out. Of course, the last house you check as, your ne as the next step. <laughs> the last fucking house that you check as the last step. Uh, at least you can run in this game and buddy up. And you jump off. Oh. I didn't complete this! <laughs> okay, now... Hello? Oh. Huh? Now we can find every fucking little piece that we did before. I think. Where was the... Oh. Was not here. Was that this one? Oh, they're randomized? Oh. Randomized. How oh, great. Why is the thing still? Because otherwise... If I have the thing still, I'm gonna be mad.
Ugh. Okay, still green. I don't know why, but still green, I like the color. It's even starting to be like when I get to pick my own color, it's like I go for till green normally, but not that much anymore. Here's the, here's the note, so... I think I have the paper still. I assume. And yeah, now I am in like in a teal green shirt and a teal green shorts. With my pecko belly. So. Like I, for my main look, I always wanted something more casual. That represents an arcade. So. What's behind door number one? Oh, I'll lead to the same thing or... A traitor lies here, starting suffering the punishment of those who betray by the great lord. Ooh, some, someone's grave is empty. I open these graves. Oh. But yeah, my, like, I'm glad my main look took the one that I really, really want. Because uh, I was like thinking of like a more casual look with like shorts, jacket, and a t shirt. Because it's not like long sleeves anymore, just like a short t shirt. Because that's been way better. It has spoken to me again. Everything goes according to its wishes, and fight the traitors who have been punished by way it ordered. The flock is prepared. The day is the day. We're going to meet it finally. I'm a bit nervous, but I have faith. Oh, dear one, I'm here to serve. Father Zeril. It's really like this island is more populated than the previous place, and the creatures here are so kind. I've spent hours relaxing under the trees, surrounded by exotic flowers, learning about their traditions. Suddenly, I must continue my investigation. I must escape this place. I want to return home. So yeah, like I am glad that this is this is more a look that I would wear to an arcade. Wait, is that now open? Oh. It's also inspired by uh, the fact that I was online looking for a gate look uh, looks. And I found like one look of a girl was like had like a t-shirt, jacket, and that sort of stuff. And she actually looked really cute and was like, I want that to I want that to be my main or maybe an upgrade of my main look. Uh, but just as I said, I also want to say I'm not going to replace my main look. This is going to, my main look is going to stay the same. And with that, I'm going to then, uh, I'm going to then basically for focus my main look as still as my selling point. So, how do I get up here? Oh. That might, like... See it as like an additional look. And yeah, it is labeled main. I know. But virtual singer is like my main look. So See it as my main look. That's my thing. That's my new updated visual. Maybe I use it. Apparently. I really missed that jump. Really. Maybe like maybe I use it as start to slowly use it as my new main visual. Because if it's a main visual, then even still I can make it my main look. But I don't want to make it main main. That people see this reference and be like, oh, that's Prego release. No, I don't want to do that. I wanna make it like uh see the other one with like the ponytail and that sort of stuff. But this does make me less Miku. No, for sure. I do have Miku reference in my lore, I know. I know for sure, but 
Uh, that's part of it. But I'm like, as I said, I'm a femloid who is Miku's sister and happens to be pregnant all the time. So. Yeah, uh, I might have, might have to look if I want to visual upgrade my uh, main look. So. Do I have to get on the loose? Oh, pfft. Oh. Huh. So, do I have everything now? I don't get it. Oh, wait, I need to find something here. Oh, I thought it was the other place. I don't know if I have everything, by the way. Does. There are clearly doors open here to, like, investigate, but... And as I told you, you're clearly to investigate here. I think this is everything. Like, at least for the completely normally, and not like be like jump off and be like, hey, I completed it by accident because I felt like uh, suicid suicidal. But <laughs> uh, I, I like the idea of this game. Like, it's livable. Like, you know that people lived here, and you know this has been a lively place as you saw in the entry. But now it's abandoned, and you're just walking around here, helping this guy. The flower! Yes, I remember now. This island was once full of nature. Let me paint it. Thank you, stranger. The painting is finished. The memories of the past of this world won't be forgotten. Now I'll wait to end, uh, end of all. Come with me. How oh, stranger now? Save here. Of course I'll go with you. I won't let consumed by this world. Let's go. See, that's the more better ending. Because I have like liberal space and I do like this because... Wait, where do you go? Where did you go? No, where did you go? Oh, hi! Oh, you're now in my bed. I come save here. Thank you again for bringing me to this place. I'll be resting here if you don't mind. Uh, you, you know, if I take, if I want to take a bed, you go out of it. And if I take a bed, you don't come and look. Bye for the room. Okay. But yeah, I'm going to leave it here. If you want to see more of Liminal uh, Dreams, let me know in the comments down below. So, when you're down there, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Oh, look, I got the painting too. Oh, nice. Because I'm, there are like three more worlds. That we can explore and do. I wonder if you can get three stars. That there is one way uh, to do this or not. Maybe if you get any everything and leave. But. Uh, yeah that's up to you to decide. If you want to see more of Liminal Dreams. You can either play it for yourself. Or the, uh, leave a comment down below. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. Because I'm leaving it here. Because this has been 20 minutes. And I think if you're going to all the levels. We've been done like busy for like another hour. Another hour at least. So if you're new around here and don't know where I am, I'm known as Prego Elise. Uh, your pregnant feature by Tessie Girl on the internet. As you can see, my also beautiful pregnant belly. I'm 39 weeks, so this is gonna be gone. Uh, if in case you wanna know what happens if after I gave birth, uh, I'm still my still gonna appear pregnant in my anime form. Uh, but things like the belly keyboard cam and the belly hand cam will be gone. So, and I will be called Pango Elise, as I said from now on. So, uh, 
But yeah, I do primarily horror for the default on this channel. If you're interested, uh, make sure to subscribe, ring the notification bell, and follow. Uh, so, don't you miss, so you don't miss a future upload. But I do also a lot of Let's Plays on this channel, including Call of Duty, uh, Animal Crossing, and that sort of stuff. Check my Let's Play playlist out for more content. Uh, check more horror content at the corner of the top right. And if you want to support me more, I do have a Discord down below, which is a public Discord server, because I do also have a Patreon. And Patreon uh, is more as an extra, I want to support this belly more than I can. And I want to give a few bucks here and there. And maybe I get on the shoutout list like Solly and Joe. Thank you for being my Patreon members. And thank you for letting me do this with earning a few uh, bucks. And besides this, did I miss something? No, uh, don't forget to check out the horror video that I uploaded earlier on the day. And if you're interested in this type of content, be sure to subscribe. Because I do them every week around 8 p.m. Uh, CET or CEST, depending on where you watch this. And with that, I'm going to say have a wonderful week. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.